So what's for breakfast? Oh come on baby, you know what's for breakfast. It's granola of course. Hey guys! Hey guys! Welcome to Sunday breakfast with KW10 <laughs> in the morning with Jenny and Dave. Oh, you're Dave. If you're Dave, I want to be Jen. Jen the man. I like Jen, Jen the Ben. Doesn't make any sense. Good morning. Let's start with a little life update, shall we? So we had a really busy week, but it was also strangely calm and. Uh, uh, yeah, not stressful at all. How is that possible? Because we did so many things this week. Yeah, and last... we've just been like running around like crazy, like a lot of appointments and stuff like that. Oh, we came in. We have come into like a new groove. Yeah, we're just taking things slower, not thinking about the future. Just taking one day at a time. Yeah, and for some reason we're like really zen. So a really, 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 really happy week. Just in the number of words, it's a really, really small language. I think the English language is 10 times bigger than the Swedish one. It is 10 times more words in English than in Swedish. Really? I think so. I might be lying. I'm not even gonna Google it because I don't have the energy for it. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe. Question from Ricky Tremblay. <laughs> and the question is, what are your thoughts on women not wearing a bra? This comment was on a video where I was wearing a kind of very light, thin top with no bra under, so I'm guessing it's because of that. Oh, uh, what are my thoughts on it? Uh, couldn't care less, I think. It's ridiculous to think about, almost. It's, yeah. it's just like... If you have to wear a bra or not, it's... I don't know. Of course not. It's <laughs> so what about like the aesthetic of it? Do you prefer when I wear a bra if I'm wearing something tight and thin, or do you prefer to see a bit? Of... Okay. Well, I, I like both, but it's it's kind of like, well, sometimes I like it when you wear a hat, and sometimes I like it when you don't. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, if if men don't have to wear bras, why would anyone else need it? Yeah, exactly. Next thing is uh, our favorites, mm -hmm. and we have the same favorite this week. Each of us got a new phone case. Yeah. Because there's a Kickstarter campaign that just started last week or something. Yeah, something like that. Uh, they're called Organica cases. They they use like all natural materials. Like the, I can show you the ones we have. This is David's. This is mine. So mine is made from hay. And mine is made from coffee beans. And they just press it till it becomes like a hard shell. And um, you can feel the texture of oh, hay yeah, yeah. and coffee yeah. and it smells like mine smells like chamomile tea and mine smells like coffee a lot it's, like coffee it's it's amazing it's super weird cases every single phone case is handmade and totally unique mm. and co made in completely natural materials this week's news story mm -hmm. i love this news this week's news story it's, it's one it's of my pretty favorites cool. this is about you might have read about it it's a very small story it seems like but there's, uh, it, it might not be anything revolutionary as well. So there's this guy who created an AI, artificial intelligence. I'm thinking like a robot that sits in somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, like a computer program that he trained to watch the movie Blade Runner. Mm -hmm. uh, so it watches the movie Blade Runner and remembers it, watches it like six times or something and remembers everything. Mm -hmm. And then he asks the, the, the AI, to recreate the movie using uh, 200 points of reference in every frame, color then, points or something. filling in the gaps. Yeah, and then the computer recreated the whole thing. The computer made the Blade Runner movie without cameras, basically. Yeah. Because it, it's, it's almost like it painted it. If you look out the window and just paint what you see, that's what the computer did, mm -hmm. but the whole movie. And then he uploaded the movie to uh, to Vimeo, 
and it was taken down by Warner Brothers because uh, Warner Brothers could recognize it, their software recognized it as copyright uh, infringement. Yeah. It sort of is. I mean, you have to Google this. Google AI recreates Blade Runner and yeah. just have a look at what this computer did. I mean, it's just, it's mind blowing. I yeah. mean, that it's really, really creepy. It looks like a ghost version of Blade Runner, like the ghost of Blade Runner, because everything is on point is the faces that are really like weird and i mean it's it's just like it's a piece of art it's just it really messes with you to see that it freaks me out man oh my gosh it freaks me out so bad so i'm thinking that this robot that watched blade runner mm -hmm. is, is, isn't it quite stupid to I show uh, an ai uh, blade runner because it's, you know the movie is about yeah, blade AIs runner is taking about, over. yeah exactly about robots taking over. So. That was the first thing I thought when you said, oh, so they, he trained the AI to watch Blade Runner. I was like, why? So, so the next step for this AI is probably to like- Take start, over the world. Yeah, take over the world, mm -hmm. start killing people. These tea is really yummy. You wanna try some? Yeah, so that's the story about AI. Would you like to have an AI of your own? In what way? A, a, an actual robot or- Why not? Or I, I have an AI, I have Siri. I mean, AIs, it depends on what you mean, like AI is okay, but if you have AGI or ASI, they don't exist yet. And they are the okay. ones they could actually be like, AGI, I think is the one that... I Okay, so I was getting really nerdy here and what I was talking about AI is for a long time. So the camera shut itself off, so I'm seeing that as a sign to move on. Are we gonna like fast forward a bit? Oh, that might be fun. You can do that. <laughs> so this week in Creative Corner, we have Garment to Gourmet. Unifying fashion with dishes. It's a blog by a girl called Bernadette. So Bernadette emailed us and just asked if she could use one of um, our photos and like recreate like a photo of me like a fashion photo and recreate a dish that looks like the photos so food that looks like me we were like go for it i want to see this and the result is really cool yeah. so check her out she's done a lot of other bloggers it seems like doesn't look that vegan though maybe oh the dog it's not for eating i think you can see the meat. There's some meat there. Okay, so ignore the meat and just look at the, like just the beauty of the making fashion into food. Cool, right? Super cool. Send us your stuff to, to info at jennymaster.com if you want to submit some creative corner stuff. We're always happy to check out all of your amazing creative endeavors. Yeah. What are you guys doing this weekend? Yeah, and what Ooh. are your plans? Or this Sunday. And where do you live? And is it warm? And is it... Uh... Tell us what's going on. Yeah. What's your life like? Yeah. It's, it's really are... warm and sunny in Berlin. It... Cool guys, uh, thank you for today. And don't forget to subscribe down there and give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Okay, so tiny show time. Do it with us. It's good for you. Yeah. Good for the bod. Yeah. And see you soon. See ya. Bye.